Hey there, West Michigan. Thanks for watching 13 plus. I'm meteorologist Michael Barons. It's been a cool and quiet Saturday, but things are changing as we head into the second half of the weekend. Impactful winter weather on the way to West Michigan, so I hope you enjoyed the outside while it was still dry today. I know a number of people were over at University of Michigan for today's football game. It was a good day for the Wolverines. Sarah was over there, got this picture of the sky above the big house. A couple clouds out there, but some sunshine poking through as well. Of course, if you ever take a weather photo and you want to send it our way, you can find me on social media. Meteorologist Michael Barons on Facebook and at Mike Barons WX on the X Twitter, Instagram and threads. Your temperatures today hit a high in the mid to low 30s for most of West Michigan below average for this time of the year and unfortunately just a degree below the three degree guarantee. Of course, I hope to start our next streak as we head toward tomorrow. Speaking of tomorrow, temperatures don't really change much from today. That's why 13 weather ball is lit up in green as no change for seen, but that weather ball is blinking bright with snow in sight. The 13 weather ball is sponsored by LaFontaine Lincoln Grand Rapids. And those temperatures tonight, they will at least be a little bit milder than what we had last night. So we're not expecting the low 20s again across West Michigan. The winds now coming in from the south. That's pulling a little bit more milder of an air mass and that's going to keep temperatures hanging around in the low 30s to upper 20s as we head through the overnight hours tonight. As of about 1019, most of us were in the 20s out there. 27 Grand Rapids, 32 in Muskegon and 27 in Holland. The wind though will factor in a small wind chill. You can see feels like temperatures in the low 20s where the winds are highest across the region this evening. The next several hours show temperatures that stabilize in the mid to upper 20s with cloud cover being firmly in place. We'll watch snow start to develop as we head towards sunrise with areas north and west of Grand Rapids expected to see the snow earlier in the day. The day planner calls for a low of 28 tonight. Snow to the northwest snow across the entirety of West Michigan for your Sunday accumulating snowfall as well. That continues of accumulating lake effect as we head toward Monday with temperatures that stay below freezing as we head into the start of the week. The snow right now is off to the west. It's pushing our way though. You can already see snow bands in Wisconsin. Those will cross the lake tonight and again bring snow most uh, well first to our northwestern counties before it overspreads the rest of the region. There are winter weather alerts in place as we head through tonight and into tomorrow. These alerts start at 1 a.m. for Macosta, Nuevo, Muskegon and Oceana County, Ottawa, Kent and Montcalm at 4 a.m. on Sunday and they run through early Monday morning. These are the areas we're expecting to see the heaviest snow accumulation. Accumulation. Again, Muskegon, Nuevo, Oceana, expecting that snow to start falling a little bit earlier than it will here in Grand Rapids. So let's go ahead and break that down hour by hour. We're looking at a lot of cloud cover across the region tonight. Snow bands past midnight between about, say, uh, midnight and 5 a.m. develop up to the northern counties. By the time we pass sunrise, the snow starts to spread further to the south, and we're expecting snow showers across West Michigan pretty much through the entirety of the day on Sunday. Snow is as we head into the evening starts to become a little bit more scattered, but it doesn't quit. We're going to switch to a lake effect pattern as we head through Sunday night and into Monday. Lake effect snow continues across the region throughout the day on Monday into Monday afternoon, even Tuesday before the lake effect snow is finally done, and that will add another couple inches on top of the widespread snowfall we have out there expected for Sunday. So let's talk about Sunday's snowfall between the time it starts snowing Sunday and about 7 a.m. Monday morning. That's where we're expecting a broad one to two inch snowfall across most of West Michigan. This will be higher as you head toward the north and west of Grand Rapids. That's where we'll get into the two to four, possibly even some pockets of four to six inch snowfall. And then as we work our way through Monday, that's when the lake effect adds on top of it and we'll throw some extra snowfall accumulation south of Grand Rapids with winds that shift to a more northwesterly pattern traveling across Lake Michigan and bringing that snow band down toward Kalamazoo and Battle Creek. When it comes to our thoughts on snowfall, that first period again, this is what we're thinking here. Areas in light blue, at least an inch of snowfall. You start to get into the two to three once you get into the dark blue and the 
three plus, maybe even again as high as five or six. Once you get up toward Nuevo County, Oceana County and portions of Muskegon County as well on up toward US 10. That's where the heaviest snow is going to be. Again, that second round that comes with the lake effect heading into Monday and early Tuesday. Most spots in here, it's going to be a scattered inch as far as accumulations go. But when you're in the lake shore, if you get caught under the heavier bands, that's where we could see the two plus inch snowfalls come in and we'll have to watch for again additional periods of heavy snow coming from some of those lake effect bands as we head through the early part of this week. As far as temperatures go, expect the snow to stick around. It's going to be hovering near to just above freezing throughout the day on Sunday for the lake shore. Once you get away from the water, temperatures drop back down closer to freezing highs in the low 30s is expected for our northern counties with mid 30s from Grand Rapids down to Kalamazoo. 13 on your side, 10 day outlook. <laughs> Temperatures keep below freezing Monday and Tuesday. It won't be until Wednesday that we push the afternoon highs back up above the freezing point. We'll start to see most of the snow melt as we head toward Thursday with temperatures into the 40s. Another quick burst of rain and snow before the weekend begins on Friday with a round of rain as we head through Sunday and more rain and snow next Monday. Overall, though, while this round of snow will likely turn things a bit white for a couple of days, I think by next weekend, most of it will be gone once again. And of course, that snow is coming just in time for the countdown to Christmas, which is continuing this weekend, and many are taking the chance to get out and visit some of Michigan's Christmas tree farms. Michigan ranks third in the nation for the number of trees harvested, supplying around 2 million trees a year to the national market, bringing in about $40 million annually. One local business in Ada says that it's about more than the money. We like to keep our prices down. Sure. It's not about the almighty dollar. Sure. We want everybody to, to be able to come and enjoy and be able to spend some money. There's crafts and all kinds of things, homemade things, handmade things that they can purchase for Christmas presents too. Victoria's Tree Farm sells about 450 trees a year. They're open Wednesday through Sunday from 10 in the morning till 6 at night. We'll have more information about Victoria's and other tree farms on our website, 13onyourside.com. And speaking of Christmas, small towns across Michigan are lighting up their trees to kick off the Christmas season. 13 on Your Side's Micah Cho was in Hesperia Friday night to show how they're celebrating. It's Christmas in Hesperia, which we're told Christmas in a small town, a lot different than those bigger cities because an entire community, an entire city gets together at Webster Park and celebrates the joys of Christmas. With Santa now coming to town, it's a means for celebration. What's your favorite part about tonight? The whole cocoa and cookies. A celebration that went on despite the bitter cold air. Oh, it's amazing yeah. just a small community being able to come together like this. It's great. Yeah, I, I'm very happy that small towns are starting to do more of this and be more part of the community. I think it's great. With Thanksgiving officially over, the village kicked off their sixth annual Light Up the Park, filled with tree lightings, <laughs> live music from the marching band, and kids telling Santa what they want for Christmas. Spider-Man 2. Scott Rumsey is one of the organizers of the Light Up the Park celebration. Seeing the hundreds of people braving the cold and celebrating Christmas together is what it's all about. Well, we feel like it's the small size of our community. We, we draw pretty much everybody from our area. Um, and the events that we have are all focused on kids and, and having a good time getting ready for the holidays. In Hesperia, Micah Cho, 13, on your side. And speaking of lights, the Parade of Lights returns to Holland on Tuesday. 90 floats will light up the 8th Street, light up 8th Street starting at 6.30 Tuesday night. The parade starts at Columbia Avenue and ends at the Holland Civic Center. Uh, place Gentex will lead the parade and hand out candy. And look out for the 13 on your side team as well. We'll be there in the parade and you can catch me behind the wheel of our live truck. And finally tonight, check this out. This is video of Mount Etna from Italy, Monte San Leo, Italy to be exact. Sizzling hot lava streamed down from the snow covered slopes of Mount Etna late on Friday. A substantial lava flow was evident in Sicily's skyline, originating from the southeast of the crater of Europe's tallest and most active volcano. 
A flight alert was issued, but it was reported that nearby airports were not impacted by the smoke or the lava. And this is certainly an amazing display of Mother Nature out there on the other side of the world. Of course, now that you're up to date on the latest forecast and some holiday news from here in West Michigan, you can always find more online at 13 yourside.com or by downloading our news and weather apps. For now, though, thanks for watching 13 Plus. I'm meteorologist Michael Behrens.